Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's another uh, beautiful, I guess, okay podcast. I'm one of your first hosts, Herbert. Ramon. <laughs> Enrique. Jonathan. And we don't have Ronnie today. And we yeah, have, yeah we a... replaced uh, Ronnie for Ramon because it's the same. They both have an R in their name. It starts with an R. So, And uh, they're kind of complete opposites because Ronnie has a beautiful head of hair and Ramon <laughs> is a... Uh, Completely bald. There it is. Yeah. And but I think who's better though? Like girls, if, if you would choose Ramon or Ronnie to hang out with, like who would you choose? Mm, whoever has alcohol with them. Whoever has like a lethal weapon on them, probably. Nice. I go for that one too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Wait, who's more athletic? Oh, Me. Ramon. Ramon? I, okay. Okay. If, if like, Ramon, you played football in high school, right? That is correct. No, but like if Ramon, if Ramon, like hypothetically something happened and Ramon got in a fight with Ronnie, Ramon? how fast would Ronnie like lose? Because we both know. We all know here, Ronnie's good. No, R- Ronnie, Ronnie knows he'll, how to. How he'll to, scratch. There'll be scratches on Ramon. No, Ronnie. I, I, I think Ronnie knows how to stand his ground. I'm not saying he, he might, he'll win, like, but I, I think he wouldn't go down easy. Like, but th- we're not talking about fighting here. Like, we don't no, want, let's fist yeah, fight. Let's test want, it out. No, we don't want people to fight, Herbert. I don't know what's up with you and trying to have like friends. This is just, fight. this is just a it's hypothetical a, we, yeah. situation. We I could do pillow fight. fights. Pillow fights are awesome. Have you nice. ever had a pillow fight? No, sadly, it's not like the movies where feathers just like pop out of the. Pillow. It's fun. Wait, you guys don't do strip pillow fights? No. That's crazy. I'm missing out. Hey, Ramon, uh, have you ever gotten a fight? Like a, like any fist fight? No? Uh, That's a no. No. What do you ever want? No, I'm just saying, no. Yes. <laughs> oh, actually, Ramon, uh, that reminds me. Ramon, like his cardio, I heard that before, like going to the gym and like running. I heard that his cardio was going to like those rock ev- or like, what is it? The ska or not ska, like, yeah, rock, like hard, uh, music events. Hard rock? Yeah, like what is it called? Mosh pit? Oh, mosh pit's okay. Yeah, right. You, did you, were you using some mosh pits before? I still do. You Whenever still, I have the chance. Wait, is it is it like really uh dangerous? No, what well, is dangerous? Right? Do you need it's high conditioning dangerous. for mosh pits? You come out very sweaty out of a pit if you're in there. And bruised. If yeah, it, sometimes. Okay, have you ever like just ate shit in front of the like in front of someone and then you had to get back up? Or I'll say like I've been kicked in the face, elbowed, fell from the top of the crowd surfing to the bottom, hit my elbow. All kinds of stuff. Wait, uh, what's what's your favorite uh, mosh pit that you ever joined? Can't oh, say there's too many to count. Oh, okay. What band or what's the one that you're like? Nah, this is the cl- cl- uh, the surfing, right? The what is it? Crowd surfing. Yeah. What about? Oh, yeah. It? What bands have the best mosh pits? Actually, because I've never been a part of a mosh pit. I've been <laughs> seeing the videos and all that. But what's the best band that you've mosh pitted at? Mm, that'll probably be Fit for a King. What lo- where locate? What location was that at? Pomona. Fireplex. Oh. No, at the. Fox Theater or the Glass House. Damn. That's fun. Is it expensive? It's not expensive at all. Nope. 20 bucks. It's super Tw- cheap for those. 20 ones. bucks to go on the floor to rent or like not rent, but like Tic- mosh pit? Tickets are usually 20 bucks. It's cheap, dude. I love going to those places. Damn. You bitch. That's crazy. Do you, do, how, what's your, uh, do you take boots on like boots or stuff or you just wear like your normal? I've taken some Still? boots before just in case. And then uh, if I want to just be like casual, just in boots. If I'm going to be fucking shit up, I'm taking my high top vans. Damn, that hey, sounds. Man, you, you gotta have ankle protection. If not, you're gonna lose a shoe. You wouldn't take like hiking boots, <laughs> like some good Solomon's. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you know what we should do next time? Just take a well, uh, the weighted vest. Fuck okay, oh, it, just do it. <laughs> put your, like, make sure to turn on your Strava too. <laughs> yeah. Count my steps. You're just be <laughs> running in circles. Nah, that's just awesome though. But yeah, go crazy. So Ramon, yeah, Ramon's back. Uh, I guess he's trying to like get back into the, uh, the gym, right? Running more because. Uh, he did have this event coming up, but I guess he pulled out. It's fine though. Next year, there's another year coming up, but it, it was what is it? Baker to Vegas. Baker to Vegas, and it's basically a lot of different, um, you know, city official or whatever you want to call them. But they all joined this uh, run. How far is it? Like one hundred and twenty miles. One way, right? Yeah. And then what time do you start? Like at night? I'm assuming or day? Dif- different times. People start at different times. And then everybody, there's twenty in the group, right? Yeah, 20, 20 man teams or. So what's the math? How many miles do you run? Then 120 push? divided by 20? No, it it, it changes because there's six, six. Oh yeah, yeah, six. I suck at math, but yeah. The most someone runs is close to eight miles, and then the least is probably like four. So who's who's uh who's driving? Because don't don't you have someone driving like following you guys? So we do have a little, I guess you call, I think it's called the pace car, as a support. So they have like your water and any other things that the runner may need. Which, yeah. those, that's what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> be I was not going to run. Oh. I was not going to run that shit. I was not. Okay. And come on, you got to represent. 
I'm not. You got to get out there and, and you be like, hey, that's it? Give me 12 like, miles. Well, now you know next year, please do it. I oh, wanna, yeah. Next, next, next year, I want to do it. That's the goal. That's I want to work up to it. So well, a lot of training. The goal for the baddies, and I talked to you guys about this, I kind of do want to do one just a for lo- us. Really? Yeah. yeah, just for us, just for fun. Like from here to like the desert, but like have to like New a York, van. Where they're holding a oh, the boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trump? <laughs> yeah, but actually, no, talk, going away from uh, this running thing, but Trump, yeah, you know, all the child, they've been shadow. They've been like, what is shadow? Right? <laughs> shadow boxing. Yeah, I think the bads have been shadow banned because our like our followers have been decreasing. We haven't been gaining any like so. Yeah, I don't know. Everybody's going to like the other side and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like what's going on? But uh, we do have sad news. Uh, the British Norway hike. Uh, you know, this Sunday. <laughs> That's such a random. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, such what? a random. <laughs> the transition <laughs> from transition. No, what? No, I want to. I want to bring it out since we're already talking about. We're, this, we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we, no, but this this Sunday we are gonna cancel the the British Norway hike of uh, the cleanup. Every year we have it, but this year since all the rain and the snow melt, there's the river, the San Gabriel River, or the river that flows down the mountains here, it's been going pretty fast. So it's not safe to take you know a big group of people there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to po- postpone it until like May uh, and make sure that, uh, you know, everybody's ready for that. So stay tuned for May and we're going to have that, you know, the British and Or cleanup and uh, sponsored by Bungie Jump America. Um, the cool thing is that we have connections <coughs> with them. So they ended up going to check the route, right, Enrique? They went beforehand to like make sure that if it's safe or not. And they said no, like it's a no go. So we listen. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, but there's a lot of water coming down. Um, me and Carlos went up to GMR, uh, Glendora Mountain Road, in the bike since uh, it was closed for the cars. And on the Glendora Mountain side, you can see all the water in the dam. In the Highway 39, Azusa side, there's so much water. Um, so I don't know. So I kind of, I'm happy because you know we're kind of away from the drought, right, guys? Right. I, mean, I have been seeing. I have been seeing the the little river beds being full of water. Oh yeah, the LA River, right? The the yeah, one in LA. E- even even down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is San Fernando? Do they have? No, just when I, I'm just driving around, and even right there by the two ten by Santa, Santa Fe Dam. Yeah, yeah. And that's but, oh, all. All those are awful. Yeah, they're awful. Yeah, so that's something. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get rain anymore though, but I know this weekend is gonna be pretty hot, eighty five or something degrees. Are you guys excited for summer? Like I know right now we're in spring, but are you guys excited for summer? Or yeah, not? honestly, it's like I like the rain generally, but I realize I, I am like over the rain. That much rain. It was just been gloomy. I've been sad. I've been eating more. <laughs> I think my like I went to go get my blood, like my uh, blood checked and everything, and it's my sugar levels are up. Oh my god! And my history, my family has a history of type two diabetes, so um, I gotta go watch out for that. But yeah, I'm really like hoping for the sun to come back. <laughs> really? Well, the sun is actually back. today. You know what? On my break, on my like 10, 15 minute break, I just stood outside and just looked. I was just under the sun like, yeah man like, just just soaking like it in a fat, like a fat cat just soaking in the sun like i'm not even kidding i was just like outside just standing like if somebody walked it like saw me I was like what is he doing no I, I think people would look at that and be like yep i know exactly what he's doing <laughs> no i i'm in the same boat as you i feel like getting sun it feels sometimes when you're in the office like just like literally walking out feeling the like the warm air because inside D? it's cold yeah the yeah. vitamin d right yeah vitamin d yeah so like it's like the best thing to do but uh, Ramon, so you say you hate the rain? Yes, I'm fucking over the rain. I'm tired of getting soaked on when I'm at work. Okay, so <laughs> I love the rain, but I'm also tired of getting soaked out at school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you got to walk. It's super unpredictable ass. where, like, I'll step outside of my car and it's like, oh, it's, like, barely even sprinkling. I'll be fine. Two minutes later, it's raining so hard and I'm already far away from my car with umbrellas at and I just get soaked. You know, I've never bought an umbrella in my life. Same here. An umbrella? I'm with I you on that one. I don't, I don't, I don't want yeah. a single umbrella. Like yeah. I owned one because of school. Cause when I, I, I actually got one because of school too. Cause walking, I, I didn't own one before. I refuse to get one still. I like it. That's a man right there. Uh, okay. I've, I've been a man up until like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have seen, you've seemed a little different. <laughs> I've been the last month. So Ramon, you like summer then? Okay. Do you like the cold or hot? Like, uh, you know, time. So when it's hot, I like the cold. When it's cold, I like the hot. Same. So you have um a disorder. It's called bipolar. <laughs> I like all. I, th- I think I think they're all wonderful. I think they all have their peaks and their 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 I hate you know, you. pros and cons. Pick one I you love like. the rain. Pick one. No, if you got to pick one, Enrique. I'm sorry. Okay, well, just if, like I, you if I just a, average out where I've had the most fun, it's gonna have to be in summer. Summer. Okay, I think I'm, summer. if I had to choose one, I'd probably choose the heat. Yeah, summer for sure. I think summer you could do more activities. Yeah. Uh, the days are longer ish, and there's it's more so sunlight. much easier to work out. You sweat so much more. Like out in the summer, go put on a hoodie and go for a run in the night and. The, it feels oh, so, yeah, you'll it, be it feels drenched. cool, but you'll be sweating so much. 
Yeah, and I love it, sweating. Yeah, and because at night, how how hot is? I forgot how hot it gets oh, at dude, night. It gets like yeah, seven, eighty. Was those huh? ni- no, some of those lights, like when it's peak summer, where it's like eighty degrees at night. At night, right? You walk humid. outside and you're like, yeah. bro, like you need the AC. Yeah. Damn. And I know other people that will SoCal. We are uh, happy that we have this great weather, right? But I know there's other areas such as a desert or even in Arizona. Hell yeah, no, nor- it's over Northern Cal. <gasps> or nor- 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 NorCal is kind of bad sometimes too. Yeah. With the with the heat. The cold. No, I'm talking about the heat. Oh, the heat yeah. Like the heat is Arizona is bad. Oh yeah, for sure. My room gets pretty bad. Too. <laughs> Your room is like <laughs> is like puro, a, like far puro pedos. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's, it gets hot in there, you know. But uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm excited for summer for sure because I'm. I think like I said, summer there's gonna be more. Like I don't know this year we haven't done that much hikes because of the rain. Literally, the rain's been like holding us back. Um, all the snow too, the snow melt. Yeah, we need the snow and all that good stuff. But like we don't have the like right the correct year to go hiking. And it's more of a liability too, because you know everybody has to have the same gear, uh, and it's expensive. It's a hobby. It's we talked about this how much it costs just to hike in the mountains in the snow. It's like a couple of thousands, you know. Uh, so I, I make sure like I don't know we, and then not only that in summer we could do beach volleyball. You could go to the beach. I haven't been to the beach. Oh, Enrique went to the beach recently. I want to go again though. I, I want to have a baddies event like on a bonfire somewhere like in whatever that beach is called. But Huntington. Yeah, Huntington, Huntington Beach, Newport Beach, um, Bolsa Buena, Buena Bolsa, Bolsa Chica, Bolsa Chica, Bolsa something like Buena. that. Wait, let's go no. down San Diego. Let's go over there. Let's go wherever you want to go. Let's go, to your, let's go to your Marine Base. <laughs> Where is that at? Don't worry Capital? about it. Kuwait. It's San Clemente? No, it's in San Diego. Oceanside. Oh, Oceanside. Miramar. Yeah. That, that's Oceanside? pretty nice, right? Oceanside? It's nice out there. Yeah, it is really nice. Oh, yes, I've been to Oceanside. I've been to right? Oceanside yeah. I only been to La Jolla. San Diego. That's nice too for UCSD. Yeah, for you because my sister was going out. Oh, your oh. sister was going out there too, Ramon. But yeah, so wait, I, they're going out there. No, they went to school. Oh. Yeah, remember they went to UCSD. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I know that I'm ready for the. You know, I, you know, I have you guys ever tried running in the beach? No, this sucks. Like it's so sand. much fun because you get tired so much faster, so you have to run so much less, and it's cool because your your workout ends faster. But, but it's are, super painful. But the only thing that these beaches in SoCal, sometimes they're like, there's trash everywhere. So I feel like even like, you know, people, you know, people drink in the beaches, but you know how they like, they have like the can like the caps from the bottles, like bottle caps. Yeah. Like, I feel like when you're running, you got to watch out for that, you know, because I like to run, run barefoot because it's sand. Like, why are you going to be running with your sandals? You know, that's one thing I never considered about running on the beach, about the shit that's on the floor. Could there's possibly, a ton that could possibly of shit. cut your like cut your foot and stuff dude there's a there's a lot of homeless in some like venice beach i guess venice beach is but there's a yeah I, i'm not afraid of that either only because i feel like yes you're right but at the same time i'm not running blindfolded but so. then aren't you also running on the kind of like the part where the yeah, well, that's water what meets like, the you're not running blindfolded so you'll easily just maneuver yourself close to the water a little but, way but you're but, you're but you're gonna run on the part where it's like kind of wet yeah, so yeah like, i guess like, like more closer, solid. closer to the water, the water. yeah do you uh, know how to swim ramon yes i have to teach myself <laughs> how do you teach yourself? Like, he threw myself threw in a pool, in a pool yeah. and then just let nature take its course, and then I learned how to swim. So nice. no, okay, okay, swimming in, in in the pool is different than swimming in open water. So yeah, I've never swam in open water. It's so super hard. I don't know. It's a lot harder because there's like a constant pull and a push, and that tide when it's strong, it's strong. That shit, that shit pull launches you. you to the bottom. Yeah. Have you ever gone tum- tumbled in the uh, in the wave? In the wave? I've, I've been I've been to up. the beach like three times. Oh in your life? God, what's going on with? This I'm guy? a mountain person. <laughs> Dude, kick the, I like Ronnie better. We gotta throw, we gotta <laughs> throw him into the beach. <laughs> yeah, I do like Ronnie better. Actually. We should take him like a uh, deep. What is it called? Deep uh, fishing. Sea deep diving? sea. Yeah, no, deep sea oh, fishing. Deep sea fishing. And I want to go scuba diving or the snorkeling, whatever it's called. Snorkeling is fun, yeah. But we should throw him up in the middle of the ocean. It's like Ramon is like, you can get up now. Like, Ramon, <laughs> nah, dude, it's, it's, it's scary. Honestly, <laughs> it is scary to swim in the middle of the ocean. Oh, it's, Just knowing that there's like a. Hundreds of hundreds of feet of water Not underneath it, no, you. No, there's fish. But the thing is, like, yeah, you won't. It's hard probably to see what's like there. Like, yeah, animals, well, it's just that's what makes it scary. Person. It's the anticipation of you just don't know. You can't see. Yeah, there could it's be like a big it's so dark. Well it's so dark down there that that's you can't what I'm see. Saying. Like, it's see, I'd rather I'd rather go to uh, like somewhere where it's clear water. Think over there in um, Hawaii or something or wherever Catalina there, Islands. There's yeah. a there's somewhere in California that has like pretty clear water. No. Uh, Catalina Islands well, It's not California But like nearby Like you could go And like literally snorkel Like you said And you could see Like the fishes Swimming around you They have like a little A, a barrier reef Or whatever it's called Yeah there's oh, Santa, uh, Morro Bay too Up north There's there's, there's one spot I saw That has like a Pretty clear water In California It's like a pretty Not, not Is that the picture drive. That you sent Is a video that you sent me No that's Palo, That was a hike The Palos Verdes 
He has been to Palos Verdes, right? No, no but you know, yeah, I think it was it because I think at the base of it, there's that shit. Yeah, well, yeah, I well, think that's, I think that's where I sent you. Well, you know, Palos Verdes, that's place that you sent me. It's um, it's by Saint P- Saint Pedro. It's over there going, Long Beach. Going, going towards th- Thousand Oaks, no? No, no, no. It's opposite. It's going towards Long Beach, like Palos Saint, Verdes. Yeah, yeah, and then so you know, Palos Verdes. I have a friend that he goes um, he goes fishing or not fishing. Oh. He, he goes he gets lobsters there. Like he dives 30, 30 feet the max without any just with the wetsuit and the light at night like at one o'clock in the morning. Spear fishing, right? Yeah, like, spear fishing, and he goes down just to get lobsters. Oh, nice. But like, uh, it's it's dangerous because like people, like you said, people could die, you know, because of all the like current and stuff going on. So every every season, one person dies. Like they, they that's what happens. So it's crazy. I think every event is just like we're talking about like anything. Like I think any hobby is just dangerous. But uh, I know that. Uh, have you ever gone deep dive fishing, uh, Rike? Or like like in sea fishing or like in the uh, middle? I, I fished in the ocean when I was in Alaska. Oh, ocean? really? That's cool. Yeah, it was terrifying. How was that? Um, I ate a, a seal. and some, Ate? I ate a seal and a bunch of salmon and a bunch How of different fish. How was that? Fish. I'm actually curious. How was that? It was uh, fatty, it, huh? I don't know if it was. Was it a seal or a dolphin? I think a dolphin is illegal, no, huh? So no, it must have, must have been a dolphin. seal, was it? You can eat dolphins. Well, yeah, you can. I, I think it depends now. on some areas where I've seen the videos of the Asians eating the dolphins. Dude, I had I had some swordfish the other day. <laughs> I was <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what kind of Wait, do you like do you even like fish? Yeah, but okay. I had swordfish the other day. That was it for your first time? First time eating swordfish. How was it? What that shit was like? good. Really? Yeah. Any like any like similar taste to something that uh like I could compare it to? Other fish. <laughs> I Til- don't don't say tilapia because you know tilapia is like the bottom yeah, of the tilapia. No, it, it, it's like really salmon. Or... I mean, just I guess like salmon, but just a little better. I don't know. Is it fishy? <laughs> like fishy ha- taste? Ha- it has that texture? Because it but looks it tastes, tough. It's, it's, it's it looks the meat looks tough. It's tender. Okay. Yeah, it was really good though. Well, it depends. I think how you cook it too. Sometimes yeah. when you cook fishes, like you know, when you go to a restaurant, well, seal was very strong in fish odor and flavor. Like I'm not a big fish, but I'll eat fish. Salmon's cool because it has less fish flavor, but like mm, salmon sometimes has. But would you eat it again? Like if you saw oh, like, oh, yeah. like a seal burger place popped up I, on the street? I, I, no, I, I mean honestly, just to try it out. Sure, I'll grab it as an appetizer. Or like I'll grab it by from someone's plate. Do but you, you, you uh, did the locals make it? Prepare. Yeah, it? the the locals made it into a recipe that's like I guess. Traditional, traditional to them, because mm-hmm. the guys out there were still wearing skirts and stuff, which I don't understand. If it's like, like cold out there, like it's winter, it gets really cold in Alaska. Oh, but um, they they're just built different. Yeah, they, they? I mean they're yeah. they're they're really cool people. They're like thick. Their right? food was pretty good. Some of it was weird because I wasn't used to it. But I, I saw I saw black bears and then I saw eagles too, American eagles. So that was pretty oh, cool. Yeah. I saw a it? nest of them, so that was pretty cool to see. When you saw it, like when you see an American eagle, do you get more patriotic? <laughs> I honestly a little bit, but yeah. then after you see the second one, you get over it. <laughs> and then you see the eggs and it's like okay well that's just cool but i gotta i gotta move on now but, but it was really cool it was nice out there thank you for hey, i just want to say like i know most people don't say this to you but thank you for serving our country stop <laughs> well, thank you thank you for your service thank you for your service thank you for your service when, when is memorial when is memorial day coming that's up? every day bro <laughs> that's every day for me <laughs> okay oh yeah talking about earth day though uh, Earth Day? <laughs> no, because I know, I know we're going. Because you're talking about more smooth transition. No, all right. No, it could, Earth Day is coming up. Earth Day is coming up. What day is it? Earth Day twenty. The, the what is it? April? Not yeah. April twenty. Not four twenty. Not that's not Earth Day. That's that's the that's herb, a, that's Herb Day. <laughs> that's Earth, herb Day, which uh, congrats to Herb Day. Yeah, but April twenty third. Oh, twenty oh, second. April twenty second is Earth Day. So. Please, uh, there's going to be a lot of events coming up, um, other groups such as, you know, other hiking clubs and everybody taking care of, you know, nature. But it doesn't mean that that day you could just do that. You know, why don't you do it every other day? Right. Yeah. Um, like cleanups. Like when you're walking, um, even in the park, like if you see some trash, like pick it up and throw it away. I don't know. Um, sometimes I feel like I was telling Enrique this, like when it was raining, there's all these like rain gutters filled, filled with trash. And that's why a lot of uh, like we cannot ca- capture enough water because there's like uh you know the water's going somewhere else or something instead of going down the drain or there's flooding occurring in areas that could be avoided but there's trash is it because of us yeah to be honest some some people just you know just maybe, maybe there should be less people so maybe the best none <laughs> present for earth is uh or no. or we got to just engineer things that can solve these problems. Or we could just take care of Earth and do it ourselves. Exactly, right. that's a good one too. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Earth Day is coming up. Please join uh, these lovely events coming up. Um, I feel like you're giving back to the the mountains or the the Earth to and humanity. To, yeah. 
and it's which, something which that will we let have us to go to Mars and continue the trash in that place. And you know, yes, I, move the trash somewhere else. <laughs> and and I really, I really like when the like my parents never, you know, never we never went to these events like community events. But I like the I like to see yeah. parents take their kids. It's yeah. so awesome, man. And then the kids like they're, they're just cool. You know, it's like, always looking back like, what did my parents do? Oh, like they just fought on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they weren't even like they weren't even productive. <laughs> they were productive. No, but like I like it when you for I was like when they weren't uh, making any reels, dude. Like what the heck. <laughs> <laughs> they were just yeah, they fighting. had bills to Where pay. Where was your uh, like online personality, mom? Huh? When you were taking care of nah, them? I think, but I think we have more freedom. So I think our kids, when we have kids, like they will, we could, you know, show sure. them. I guess because we're gonna have more freedom. Uh, like Enrique said, our our parents were more. When we have kids, are we gonna like teach them how to podcast? And, yeah, teach them how to. Honestly, the they're gonna teach us how to podcast in the future. They're gonna be in the metaverse podcasting. So you gotta you gotta keep the up metaverse, with them. Metaverse, like dude, you gotta buy real estate next to like. Like Snoop Dogg. Right? Yeah. Doesn't he have a house in the metaverse? <laughs> yes. So. But uh, yeah, so I feel like yeah, Earth Day is gonna be fun. So this th- this month, I feel like it's gonna get hotter, right? I hope there's no more rain. Please, For rain sure. go away. We should do the rain dance or something, and then that's the opposite of what that does. Yeah, it makes. It oh no, yeah, you're right. Don't do the rain dance. <laughs> it, it makes Please it rain more. Do the opposite of rain dance, which is a sunny dance, uh, and. Uh, Baseball baseball season came back, so oh, whoever yeah. likes baseball, I just found out that uh, uh, not Ronnie, I was gonna say Ronnie Ramon, uh, he also likes the Dodgers, so I'm kind of happy for that. He says he, I thought he just liked the Angels. I do not like the Dodgers. Okay, why well, were you, you at the well, game? Yeah, you were telling us. I I'm an Angels fan. I've been an Angels fan forever. My team sucks ass, but I like baseball in general, so I'll go to any baseball game. People who like the Angels don't like baseball. They just like not liking the Dodgers. That's yeah. what that is. But <laughs> I, I do. I, I will say I, I am. I don't want to say this, but mm. I do like the Dodgers a little bit okay, as my but, second favorite team. Okay, but you live in L- LA. Like it, Can we just? Uh, that's gonna be like the clip we use. Ramon, you live. You live in a uh, LA County. That's why you don't, why. Live, you don't yeah. live in OC. You don't live in Anaheim. You're close enough. No, what do you mean he's close? They're enough? California teams. I, I went. I went win. to college in DOC. There you go. Wait, Wait you went. Uh, to, I thought you went to Cassiel. Oh, dude, I want Kelsey Fullerton. Oh, shit. Learning something new. That's every rivals day. to Long Beach. So That's true. Up? Okay, Let's you're fight. right. Is it really? We're rivals. Let's fight. Hey, so. Aren't you guys like the. The better one school? Yeah. No. The penguins. What's your mascot? Like some fucking. The shark. Uh, shark? No, no, it was before that. It was a. Uh, the dirt pros- bag. The prospect. Aren't you guys called the dirt bag? No, the no. prospect peak. Yeah, the dirt bags. We're called dirt bags. Or baseball. baseball. No, there's yeah. like the dirt bags. Yeah, yeah really. Huh? Yeah. Like, I remember that. They, I remember the shirts that say that. I remember them playing when they played baseball. Against you know, you know, uh, Calcine Long Beach has a lot of well, they used to have. Oh, I don't know if they have it now, but they have a lot of people that go to the MLB, like the most um, well, players that drafted to, players. Yeah, I don't uh, know why. I, 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 don't, I, know about, have a good I don't know about that, but man, I thought you love baseball. Well, I mean, like I don't know, I don't know all the stats where they come from. All I know is that uh, some players came from Fullerton, like Justin Turner, Michael Lorenz, and the pitcher. Okay. It's very specific. Um, Noe Ramirez, another pitcher. I don't know. I just know a couple players that came from. Wait, okay, will you pitch? Will you be a pitcher or a catcher? I, I, I don't I be fucking left bench. I'm done playing baseball. Well, you can do both sides, no? I'm oh, pretty wait. sure he needs a bigger butt to do that. Wait, I forgot. Ramon did play it's baseball. He played baseball. Damn. Like last time? Yeah. I, I played in high school and I played for an adult league. No, you did not stop. I played for an adult league in Anaheim and in Azusa and we won the championship. Why did I not know this? Because I didn't talk to you back in the day. What the? Oh. Did you, you didn't know this, right? No, I, I knew he played for... I, well, I, I knew he played for a Gladstone, but not for adult league because... God, this I call this the Ramon podcast. I don't like someone's <laughs> bottom. Wait, so do you? What was your first kiss, dude? <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> no, no, you're not uh, that. Okay, good, I guess. Last week, me. <laughs> when were the guy? Pro- kiss. Probably like high school or college. I don't know. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. So now you're you're a late bloomer. Nah, Hell that's yeah. perfect. That that's traditional. I, no, I was in high school and behind in the P and be like during like zero, zero period. Yeah, PE or behind P? the. P? the Did you call you know it the, the P? My bad. It, you know, I was, was going to say behind the container. You know those containers where they hold, all, they held all the like the, the shipping containers. Equipment? Yeah, they held all like for the. I was behind there. Oh, what was it? What was his name? What's his name? <laughs> no, don't play like that, bro. Like you and my mom always. <laughs> was it a dog or like was it a human? Or? <laughs> you and my mom always saying that shit. No, it was not a dog. I wouldn't not kiss a dog. Okay? I'm just curious. Was it like a sandwich or something? Like what? What, what, what was your experience? Were you right, playing next, with the banana? Hey, next, <laughs> course, dude. I don't even know why I opened my mouth. <laughs> well, did you do that that day too? Or? <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. That's where he got you. <laughs> hey, Moving no, on, though. Hey, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> well, yeah, let's move on. I take the- my thank you for your service back. <laughs> you guys aren't even doing anything, bro. <laughs> so, uh, 
<laughs> the first run of the month, uh, we got ginger shots. Uh, it was so ginger shots. I'm gonna talk about ginger shots because uh, this time around, I added added an apple to make it sweeter. So I want to say the recipe to you guys. So basically, what I do is I use like 20 oranges. I use them from my own tree. And then I also do uh, some ginger, like such as like three or four roots of ginger, medium size. And then I also do uh, turmeric, like one or two roots, like small ones. And then I have uh, black pepper and Cajun. So I don't know. They, I heard that everybody likes the ginger shots. Uh, I think Enrique and Herbert, or well, Herbert didn't have one this 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 week. Yeah, it was good. I, w- I was happy that we got like double shots. So oh yeah, we did. We got like we got like we got a, a full ass fucking cup. It was not double, double like triple. Hey, but it was good though. So I hope we don't get sick because you know it has vitamin C. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, we had that and we ended up running like three miles, I believe. I think uh, I I clocked in three miles because I was a little late. Where'd you guys run to? We just went to the playground. Okay. Right there by the uh, uh what is it called the, the little HOA train track? Thing? Yeah, the yeah, yeah the train. And then uh, Jimmy and uh, Kristen brought Jimmy back. So our mascot, you know, I guess Jimmy came back. Uh, he started barking again with dogs. He, you know, he always he wants to get down with dogs and stuff. Oh, yes. But, <laughs> um, you know, it's it's cute, though, because sometimes, like, he will miss a dog. We're like, oh, man, there's a dog across the street, but it's, like, dark. Yeah. And I guess, I don't know, do dogs have good, uh, can they see good? No. I think it's their senses. They're colorblind. They probably smell. They have a good smell, but they can't. They don't have good eyes. I know cats can see better, right? At night, I think cats. Well, can they see are it. nocturnal animals, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I guess so. Yeah. So Jimmy was missing some of the dogs, but it was cool. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, Jimmy's he's pretty fast. He's a good runner, I guess. Uh, I asked Kristen, what's like his fast? Not his fastest, but what? How many miles can he like, like handle? And it's like six to eight miles. Uh, so that's a that's lot. That's more miles. than Herbert. That's true, Herbert. You I've done a half marathon, dude. Okay, that's more that than That was running. last year, bro. This year, that was last year, right? I could do it again. I mean, it might you take can? long. It might take long, but I'll do it. Are you? Even, you're not even going to the gym. I, okay, first of all, I have not because I've been sick. First I of all, sick just, with what? I don't want to say it on the podcast. Okay, because uh, <laughs> it's actually he's sick cold. of your I, shit. It's embarrassing and it does have to do with that. So, oh, <laughs> I was also there though. I I went today just for the shots for the ginger shots because he has a test. I have an exam tomorrow and I was doing homework on the bench while they ran. And honestly, it felt like they ran for like ten minutes. Like you I, were I doing, doing your homework in the dark with back. no light. Uh, my tablet has light, so the book I wasn't looking at the book, but and you only did one problem. Bro, weren't you supposed to be announcing your grades on the podcast? Oh, actually, I got my 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 dynamics exam grade came back yesterday. Wait, well, what did he get? I got a B. I'm so proud of myself for <gasps> that. It's one of the hardest classes in mechanical engineering, and that professor is cool as hell, though. So I'm not gonna pretend like I, I know the subject well, but I'm happy. Did that he I, study or I studied like crazy for that, and I answered mostly well. Were you the highest? No, I don't think so. At least, but were you above the curve? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he only said, yeah, I don't sound my grade. I don't, I don't see no curves, no averages, nothing. But you have friends that you talk to others. So I'm well, I haven't saying. got people's grades yet. Okay. I see. That's cool though. Hey, but I'm happy. I got to be in a hard class. So now tomorrow's another hard class. So thermodynamics. We'll and see that's how it goes. the one that you're um, struggling, you know, the thermodynamics. So well, I'm not struggling because it, 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 it's curved. It, it, all engine, uh, at least for me, engineering classes, the, most of the classes get curved because they're super hard classes and everybody averages like F's. So the professors have to curve. <laughs> They have why to give. You, why are you laughing, Ramon? Because everyone averages F. Everyone gets F's or D's on exams, but at the end when they curve, all the, all the D's are, become A's, all the F's become B's, and you know, like forty percent because C's, and if you're under that, you're you're just you okay. Know. What's what? Okay, let's go on. Let's go in in, in the row. What's the worst worst grade that you got in college, Herbert? Like in any class, I don't care. What's like the worst the grade? Last. Like the test. Oh, test. Like uh, the worst. Like the worst. I I think I failed the F. Yeah, like like a fifty something percent. How did you That's feel? High. How did you? Not pretty low, but how yeah, did you I feel? Got like thirty six on one of them. It was. It's my turn to share. <laughs> so, thank you for your service. But <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I, th- I forgot what it was a math class, and it, but it was like one of the first midterms. So it was like that. It was that point where I was like, oh, I gotta get my shit together. It's like so, a reality check. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a reality check, but it's you know, I f- it's scary. Like, but like you know when you get a bad bad grade and your, your heart just sinks because you tried and you know you didn't try as hard as you could but you tried still and so yeah. that's a it's a bad feeling because then you get like everybody else's grades and all oh, they this person did good about this and you always have, you always have that one person that always kills it like yeah. does a's and you for know sure. that guy and they're like man you don't have no life huh you just start like hating him and yeah stuff. for sure yeah, yeah that's yeah. what happens to me like i think i got an f2 and, yeah. and, and it's like the worst feeling in on earth but i remember one of our professors said if you do bad, just think about it. Is your girl or boy gonna like boyfriend or girlfriend gonna leave you? Is your family gonna say like, "Oh, we hate you"? And it's true. Like it's just a bad great. Like, like just forget about it and just go on, move on to the next one. Redemption. You can always come back stronger. 
Yeah. So I feel like that's what I took. Like, I don't stress out too much about tests. Yeah. Like, it's kind of, it is kind of stressful because you got to study building up to that. And it goes on with life and anything, you know, like it's stressful. But Did you guys ever pull an all nighter? Yes. Or Multiple times. Sleep? Oh, really? Yeah. No. Procrastination that is best. Save your paper for uh, the last Ramon day. is a type of guy that you don't want to have him on the project, dude. He's a type. Ramon is the type of guy He's that like, will. Ramon, did you do your part? It's been like a week. He hasn't replied. Like, oh no, yeah, I haven't done. Oh, oh bro, I'm watching baseball, yeah. dude. I'm stressing now for all I, the. Do you know that I, I play on uh, the adult league? Like, no, bro, this doesn't matter right now. <laughs> I've actually had that scenario happen to me before. Oh, Jesus Christ! But <laughs> I wasn't the slacker this time. Well, I kind of was, but there was someone else that was slacking worse than me, and we had to talk to the professor about. Oh my god! How this group project, like, we're not working together at all very well and, the, and it was your fault though no it wasn't my fault there was someone else that wasn't putting uh the same effort we had to talk to the professor and then the professor just told us you guys are adults you guys are going to be working with people you don't like in the future so just get used to it like that's a good answer so yeah. then you felt it no we we came through but we just never worked together again damn yeah that's how it is for me right now i have like three groups of stuff and i'm trying to take charge and lead the group but people aren't replying nobody's putting in work everything's doing a couple weeks and we've had like three where, months to do stuff. Where are your leadership skills here, Marine? I, I'm applying them as the best I can, but I can't do anything if they don't reply, where's if your, they don't put in work. Where's and your gun at? I, I don't. That's I don't. a good motivation tool. Well, that's a, that's a threat. <laughs> but I, I just wave it around the room. Don't wave it around a person. Well, I, I, I just yeah. try to force people to work. But like right now, I'm the only one that started work on all these projects. And like it's like 10 page reports. And I've, I've done two, three pages on all, everything, but nobody has done anything else. So I'm like, well, like guys, like, come on, we get it's doing a couple of weeks. Exams are coming, so we're gonna get busy. We need to finish it now before finals gets clear here. But we'll oh, see how it happens. I'm wait, excited. So we One's final your midterm. What midterm? Like, oh, I thought you had finals for some reason. No, finals is until May, no. Uh, like in like oh, sure. three, four weeks so like or four weeks, midterm? I guess. It's my second midterm. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, okay, let's finish it off with this, Ramon. We all went to college here, or or I guess uh, Enrique is going to college, but he like, what's your motivation when you're in college, Ramon? Like at Cal State Fullerton, what was your motivation like? Dude, I fucking hated school. Okay, but what was your motivation? Like, what was getting you by? <laughs> or what? Like, what was motivating you to just keep on going? Because, like, it, it kind of sucks. Let's be real. For the first two years in college, I thought I was going to drop out. And then, so you. I was literally just going there just to pass the time. And then, uh, I almost took Enrique's route. <laughs> I, I did talk to a lot of Marine recruiters. Oh, my God. On campus. And then, uh, I don't know, I didn't do it. And I think by that point I was like, "Well, I'm already almost done with school, so I might as well just be but, a fucking adult and finish it." So, what motivated you? Like your family, finish your friends, it. your girl, your boy. Just finishing whatever just, you started. Just, huh? fu- just finish what you started. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Do you have because you have that uh, what is it that character right? You like to finish things that you started sometimes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and Enrique, what's your motivation right now? You're um, just trying to graduate. <laughs> well, I mean. I think it changes throughout the years, I guess, right now. Like, I'm just really stuck on the end goal. I've, I've matured enough to the point where, like, I can appreciate learning more, which I didn't in high school. I didn't early on in college. But now, like, I, I, I like the subjects. I don't like the way the school system is, where, you know, with exams and homework. But I do appreciate what I'm learning. It's fun. It's exciting. It's hard. Like you said, it's, it's I struggle. But what motivates me is just the fact that I, I generally chose a major that I'm interested in. So learning the stuff that I'm learning is, is interesting. So that motivates me when i try to look at the bigger picture and not zoom into all the hard subjects and then also the, the end goal the kind of job i'll get with this because again i'm, I'm majoring in this because i want to do something with the major not just you know get an art major just to keep it in the my, in the in, on the wall somewhere and do nothing with it so i'm excited for the end goal and where it's going to take me so and for me what motivated me is like i wanted to have because i'll talk to other uh, engineers like they already have like their careers and i know that they're like my mentors and I know that they had a lot of free time and they're getting back to the community to like, you know, uh, back to the community. Cause, uh, let's be real. We all grew up in a community that we all we knew about was not engineering. We all knew about teachers, a doctor or a police officer. Right. That's all we knew about like in our school in Gladstone. Uh, but I remember like when I heard about engineering, it's like, you know, I want to get back. So that's what motivated me. Like, you know, and not only that, I have a career that gives me free time, like a balance, uh, like a work life balance. I never knew that we were going to start this club, this LA Baddies Club, right, Herbert? We never knew this. No. But now, at, at the end, like seeing like, you know, my career path and everything that I have free time to, you know, able to give back to you guys, whoever listens to us and like runs with us, hikes with us, do events with us, it's just awesome to see it, you know, because I know you guys appreciate it. And I, and I love every single one of you guys that like hike with us and do events with us. So, yeah, so that was one of my motivations. Herbert? Um, 
What was the original question? <laughs> why why were you motivated to finish oh, your college uh, degree? Or oh, who what motivated you to what finish motiva- it? Uh, honestly, the initial thing was my family. Like I, I, that was the first thing uh, to myself that I wanted a degree at least. And at least for individual classes, uh, I've always wanted to let myself and the teacher know that I understood whatever that class was. Like even if even the GE classes I tried, but your yeah your mom is more on the younger side, right? Like than my yeah. parents. My parents are older than your parents, but uh, your mom knew about engin- like uh, degrees, right? Like a yeah, like yeah, he had yeah, a bachelor's yeah. degree. Yeah, yeah. Like my parents just said go to college. They don't know about degrees. You know how there's associate, there's a PhD. Vela square, there's, vela, vela square. Yeah, they just say vea colegio, mijo, vea yeah. colegio, but they don't know what degree you're going for. Let's you know, uh, like my parents are not educated. They 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 only went to middle school or elementary school, and that's it. So they don't even know, like they know about high school, I guess, because over here that you have to go through all the steps in order to go to college. But other, other than that, they don't know. They, I think they, well, they know I got my master's degree, but they don't know like what how, it yeah, what it took or how long, I guess. What, you, they, do they even know what you did? Uh, do they even ask? For master's, not really. I think honestly, most of it is like, as long as you're okay, they don't really. Yeah, they don't they really, don't care, really care, care about it. Well, they do care about it. They just, no, as long as you're okay, they like, they don't fret too much on the small details. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and um, so we're gonna finish it off though. Uh, thank you, Ramon, for joining us because I think we're gonna fire Ronnie. Um, I'm just saying that nah, Ronnie's having a good time, uh, but he'll come back soon. Um, and yeah, ho- I'm hoping uh, when summer comes though, I'm hoping Ramon could start hiking more with us because he loves the mountains. We just found out in this podcast that he loves mountains. He doesn't like the beaches, so I guess we should do more beach like stuff too. Mm. <laughs> well, we should do Palos Verdes for sure. The hike that he said, I'm down. I'm down to hit some hikes and. But I'm down to tr- go to the beach and try to swim in the ocean and see. Let's if go, I, man. Or running there too. It's fun. Or even playing games. Playing games. Uh, what is it? Working cornhole out. or what beach is volleyball? Cornhole. Pike. Uh, sp- spike ball. What is that? Spike thing? ball. Yeah. Oh, is it the little yeah. thing where like, you set up a net on the floor yeah, and then you like bounce it off? Yeah, yeah. That, dude, that game gets intense. If you're comp- or ultimate frisbee, I played a little oh, bit of that in college. Always, always looks so fun. I've never played. I played a little bit of that in college. That was so much fun. Or tackle football. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, no, you don't want to get hurt. Water polo? No, not worth it. All right, well, all right, you heard it from Ra- uh, Ramon. That's not <laughs> worth it to get hurt. But uh, yeah, so stay safe, guys. Stay, uh, you know, healthy. Uh, just be careful with the whole, this whole temperature drop right now going on. Uh, you know, a lot of people are getting sick, but you know, just stay healthy, eat good. Uh, we'll see you soon in the next event, and stay tuned for the Earth Day. Uh, we're gonna keep bringing it up in the next podcast. Uh, our event that's, and we're going to post it on our Instagram page and if you want to listen to the podcast we have it on Spotify Apple Podcasts and YouTube and don't forget we have the Instagram for the reels and TikTok for the uh, the fitness videos uh, we'll see you guys soon and we love you guys adios